Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to present you a brand new seller board feature. That's right. So imagine that you are doing PPC advertising and there's a lot of things you need to cover. You need to do bid optimization, you need to optimize your keywords, you need to uh, obviously allocate your budget in a way and then you need to do it on the regular. That's the most painful part because it's a full-time job. And imagine that you would have a tool that would do all of these things for you and you would just pick the product you want to advertise and allocate the budget you have available for advertising that product. So this is exactly what Sellerboard can do now with the new Smart Portfolios feature. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works. But in a nutshell, there are three stages that Sellerboard covers. So there's a discovery stage when Sellerboard um, discovers, suggests keywords for specific campaigns. And then there's the optimization stage when Sellerboard optimizes the bids so the campaigns would reach a specific target that you would indicate. And there's the scale phase when Sellerboard uh, focuses on allocating the budget to the keywords and campaigns that can do the most impact in sales. Uh, there's a lot to go through. So without further ado, let's jump to the presentation and look at how it works. Now let's set up a smart portfolio on Sellerboard and see how you can automate your advertising activity. So we are going to jump into the PPC dashboard first. On the PPC dashboard, you will notice a new button called Create Smart Portfolio. And also, whenever you will already have a smart portfolio up and running, you'll be able to access it Check out the performance on the portfolio level, expand it, see the performance of your campaigns at every step. So your campaigns discovering keywords, your campaigns with the keywords being optimized, and then the campaigns that are being scaled. Now let's create a new smart portfolio. So I'm clicking the create smart portfolio button. Immediately I'm met with a flash screen that describes how the smart portfolio process works. So Sellerboard does three main things. It optimizes your keywords in specific campaigns uh, that can be automatic or they can be manual. So if the campaign is automatic, that means that the campaign is doing keyword harvesting on its own and then suggests which keywords should be transferred to newly created campaigns for bid optimization or you can input your own keywords and then Sellerboard will just analyze which ones of them really give that performance that can be then transferred to the bid optimization phase. So the second thing that Sellerboard does is it optimizes the bids, meaning that you can set a specific ACUS, target ACUS that is, or target margin and uh, Sellerboard will try to adjust the bids in such a way that that particular campaign will reach the required ACUS or margin level. So the target ACUS or target margin. After a campaign will reach its target, it will enter the scale phase when Sellerboard will allocate maximum budget to the campaigns that are performing the best. But actually budget allocation is something that Sellerboard will do at each step of the process. So during keyword discovery, Sellerboard will attribute the discovery budget between campaigns depending on the performance of the keywords. The same thing happens at the bid optimization phase and finally at the scale phase. All right, let's move on. This is the settings window where you will input all of your settings for the newly created portfolio. And there are several steps. First, you will create a name for your portfolio. Then you will select a marketplace where you are planning to operate or launch the portfolio at. Afterwards, you will select a product that you want to include in the new portfolio and advertise in it. Also, you will allocate a daily portfolio budget. It's important to notice that the daily portfolio budget is your total budget for the campaigns that you have inside your smart portfolio, be they in uh, discovery phase or optimization phase or scale phase. So 
uh, when you're deciding on a daily portfolio budget, you're deciding on total budget. You can also go ahead and move existing campaigns to the smart portfolio, which is optional, meaning that you might already have campaigns that you want to include in this smart portfolio and get them optimized. So these are the general settings. Then you can proceed to specifying the optimization settings. By the way, you can also um, decide to disable the optimization step. That means that Sellerboard will only discover new keywords. And then uh, once the keywords will show sales, then uh, those campaigns will immediately switch to the scale phase. But we are going to turn that up back on. And on the uh, optimization settings part, I'm going to decide on what will be my uh, target. So what will I consider a good result for optimization? And I have two options. The first one is the target ACUS. And the second one is the target profit margin. And I'm actually talking about a range rather than an exact value. I'm telling Sellerboard that any campaign that will have an ACUS in this specific range between 17% and 24% will be considered optimized. The same thing applies for the profit margin. If I will have this setting, that means that any campaign that will have its margin between 17 and 24% will be considered optimized. And it will then uh, be passed on to the next phase, which is the scale phase. But let's take a look at the discovery settings first. So um, again, I can disable the discovery uh, phase altogether, but uh, I don't want to do that yet. First of all, I can create a dedicated auto campaign for discovery, meaning that Sellerboard will create a keyword harvesting campaign. And the other option I can choose is seed my own keywords. So I can also provide a list of keywords that I want to include, and then Sellerboard will create a manual campaign with all of my keywords inside of it. And it will also participate in the discovery phase. So uh, whenever I will input a new keyword, I will also specify a starting bid. By the way, after you will select the products for the portfolio, this list will be already populated with several keywords recommended by Sellerboard. And also you'll be able to provide your own. Next up are the settings for the scale phase, which are not too many. You can either enable or disable the scale phase altogether, but you can only do so if you also disable the discovery phase. If I'm going to have a portfolio that will look like this, it will only work for optimizing my keywords. And the same rules will apply the ones that I will set here for my target. But I'm going to switch back both of these phases so we can move forward with the setting up of the portfolio. Besides the uh, discussed general optimization, discovery and scaling settings, you can also go ahead and switch on the show advanced settings. And this will bring up a little bit more um, to fine tune and tweak. So coming back to the optimization settings, I will now get the option to choose an optimization strategy, be it fast, moderate, slow and or custom. And by optimization strategy, I mean how fast and how aggressive will the bits be changed. So how many clicks will be taken into account before making a bit changing decision or into how many steps will a bit change will be broken. I can also go ahead and set a minimum or maximum bit gap. Then moving forward, I can take a look at the advanced discovery settings and choose a grace period. During this period, all isolated campaigns will maintain at least the minimum budget before they will be totally cut off in the case that they are not showing any performance. And this is uh, done so they have a chance to perform at all. Then I can allocate a specific percentage of my total daily budget that I'm indicated right here to the research phase. And currently it's at 30%, right? So you can set uh, how much you want to spend on keyword research, basically. You can also set uh, a maximum cap in total value. So in this case, I'm spending 30%, but not more than $25 in total. 
And the last checkbox in the advanced discovery settings is the search for well-performing keywords in all campaigns portfolios. I will give Sellerboard the possibility to look at my other campaigns that are currently running and find well-performing keywords in there and use those keywords to create new campaigns in the optimization phase and try to get them to perform and reach my optimization goals. So pretty much these are the main settings. And now let's take a look at what happens when I create this portfolio. So now that we've created a smart portfolio, we can find it here under the smart portfolios tab. If we'll expand it, then we'll be able to see the campaigns in each stage. So we have the discovery stage, optimization stage, and the scaling stage. And if we'll expand these stages, then we will see the campaigns inside. As you can see, we can uh, analyze the metrics and the results on different levels. So on portfolio level and then on uh, a stage level. So at any given time, you can understand how overall your optimization phase or stage is going. Uh, same applies for discovery and scale. Let's take a look at the campaigns inside. Once you've created a seeding campaign, then you will be able to see it here uh, under manual because you've just seeded specific keywords to, for the campaign. And if you're launching an auto campaign, then it will be marked as auto. So whenever these campaigns will have keywords that will register sales, then they will be automatically transferred to the optimization stage or phase. And here you'll be able to uh, analyze their performance. Once the keywords will um, get into that range of target ACUS or target profitability, then the target will be considered as achieved. So this campaign from the optimization stage or phase will get transferred to the scale phase or stage. And here a main focus of the stage of scaling is allocating the budget in the most effective way. So let me give you an example. If you will have a multi-campaign, uh, meaning that this campaign has multiple keywords inside and it will work with the budget that you've allocated when setting up the campaign in the very beginning and for some reason uh, the budget will not be enough. So Sellerboard will detect there's more to be uh, sold if uh, this campaign would have more budget. Then what Sellerboard would do, it would take the best performing keyword from the multi-keyword campaign, so from this one, and create a new isolated campaign, or as we also call it, mono campaign, with a singular keyword inside, and allocate the budget from uh, the multi-campaign towards the isolated campaign. So the logic being giving more budget to the keyword that has actually performance potential, right? Um, this is how the budget allocation works. And actually the budget allocation uh, is working at each stage, at the discovery stage when budget is distributed between the campaigns that are doing the keyword harvesting, but uh, specifically only that amount of the daily budget that you specify in the very beginning when you're setting up the campaign. So then at the optimization phase, the budget is also allocated towards keywords that have the best performance potential. Last but not least, at the scaling phase, uh, this is the main reason uh, uh, in general of the phase. So you can allocate the most budget to the most uh, potentially uh, performant campaigns. So yeah, taking a look at the data that's available here, obviously the PPC specific metrics like ad spend, PPC sales, ACAS, and also profit. Uh, a quick reminder that Sellerboard um, will display the profit estimation for uh, your campaigns and uh, portfolios and keywords based on the fact that we already have the necessary uh, data points for calculation like Amazon fees, like refunds, shipping costs, and all of that. 
obviously the cost of goods and also expenses. So uh, you have your profit here and um, again, for the campaigns that will be on, you'll see the automation st status here. You'll be able to modify it if you go to the actions uh, or if you want more detail uh, information regarding the performance of a specific campaign, you'll be able to click on more and see the breakdown of how the campaign is performing. All right, I guess that this is it. Uh, if you have any more additional questions, please reach out to us via the support chat or support uh, at sellerboard.com. Thank you.